as you know, there are three most common types of average, mean, median and mode. Can you tell what the median and mean are for this set of data? Pause the video while you work it out. The median, or middle value in this case, is 4. The mean, which we found by adding them all and dividing them by the number of values, is 15. The value 15 is not a reflection of the majority of values in the data set because it has been skewed so greatly by the value 83. In this instance, the median is a far better average to represent the data. So in this video, we're going to look at how we can find the median from data in a table. It can sometimes be off-putting to use the median when there is a large amount of data because it all has to be ordered. However, when finding the median from a data set in a frequency diagram, this problem can be avoided by using this equation. To find the middle values position in a set of data, take the number of values, also called frequency, and call it n. We add 1 to this value, then half it. Our answer is the position of the median value. Try for yourself. If a data set has 63 values, which position will the median be? Pause the video and have a go. Let's see how you did. If n takes the value 63, 63 add 1 equals 64, 64 divided by 2 gives us an answer of 32, so the median is in the 32nd position. Finding the median from a frequency table can be very simple using this equation. Consider this frequency table, showing the data for shoe sizes purchased. By understanding that the frequency says that size 3 occurred 2 times, size 3.5 occurred 4 times, and so on, we can form a total number of shoes bought from the frequency column by adding these values. We now know that our dataset contains 52 values. To find the median value, we need to input this value into the median equation. What position would this give us? Pause and have a go. Substituting 52 in as the value n gives 53 divided by 2, the answer to which is 26.5. This means that the 26.5th position is the median. We are able to find the extra 0.5th value by taking the value that would sit between the 26th and 27th positions. We do this by finding the mean of these values. To identify the 26.5th position, we need to add a column to our table called cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency is the total of values up to that point. The first value will be 2, as this is the frequency of size 3. The second value will be these two, plus the frequency from the next set, 3.5. Therefore, the second cumulative value is 6. See if you can fill in the remaining values. So with the final cumulative values in place, we can find the 26.5th value. The 26th and 27th values are both in the 5.5 group. As we can see that the 25th value is the last value in size 5. The mean of the 26th 5.5 and the 27th 5.5 is also 5.5, so this is the median value for this dataset. You may also need to be able to find the median of data from frequency tables which look like this. This data shows the height of a group of people. As you can see, this data has no specific value. It is group data, shown in intervals. Any median we calculate will therefore be a grouped median, as we cannot calculate an exact median value from this. To calculate the median, we use the exact same process as before. However, the answer will be given as a group, rather than a single value. Pause the video and see if you can find the median group interval. How did you do? First, we need to find the total frequency in our table. There are 45 values in this table, we then apply this value as n in our median equation. 45 add 1 equals 46, divided by 2 equals 23, so our median value is the 23rd position. We then need to add our cumulative frequency column to our table and look for our 23rd value. Our 23rd value is between the 16th and 27th, so is in the group greater than or equal to 165 and less than 170. 
So this is our median group interval. So that's our guide to finding the median in a group table. Remembering the equation for median will help you find a median for any size data set. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.